Hello, greetings from DSPPA. In this video, I will show you how to use in the fact of our software by Paperless Conference System. There are three parts in total. Part 1 Basic settings of the pre conference software. Part 2 Create conference management. Part 3 Other interfaces introduction. First, Let's set up a computer protocol IP. Right click on the network icon in the lower right corner and click open network and internet settings. Follow by mouse printed until you use internet TCP or IPv4. Double click on it and enter the corresponding IP address. Finally, open Google Chrome and enter the system IP address. The default account password is Well, this step is to create a meeting room location where the system has been installed and used, which will facilitate the creation of conference schedules later. After logging in successfully, we need to locate the conference room section and click on floor management to create the location of the floor. Follow my guide to finding the relevant information. The information you see is for reference only. You can file in the information according to the location of your own meeting room in the building later. Click Device Management, select the conference room location. You just created room second and search to file all devices and select all to act. Select device management, select the conference room location. You just created room second and search to fail all devices. And select all to act. Check whether the conference room location is selected. There are several ways to lay our conference room, and usually we use the default smart seat addiction settings. Let's create an eight-person conference room laid out. Next. We can see the information on the right hand side and add the conference terminal devices to the corresponding seat. If the layout is not set correctly, we can click the reset layout. Finally, select save layout. Step 10 and 11 do not need to be operated. The period step 2 has been added successfully. Select the projection device and act projection wall. The title is to mark the display you want to project. Are the default drop down options? Click OK to succeed it.
device that is port server in the right port and check at serial server. A mark which we see that there is an at IP address. This is the IP of the projection device. We can access here to copy the IP information first and then go to the re add. Other default drop down option and enter the corresponding projection device IP. Click OK to succeed it. This step has been successfully added in the previous third step, so check whether it is successfully added again. Find the select common radio source. Are the default drop down options? Click OK to succeed. Well, the above steps are the basic settings of the pre-conference software. Now let's move on to part 2, how to create conference management. First, enter the relevant conference title and content, schedule the meeting time and room. Immediately set out the relevant conference agenda, which can be multiple. Select the conference room first, and then submit the relevant documents for which part of the agenda is required. Then, which conference agenda needs to be voted on, found the relevant information. If you aid and select meeting personnel, the corresponding lifting terminal is which participant seat, and the night of the lifting terminal will appear accordingly. Finally, select Released and you will succeed. Submit means the job is submitted and taste up the meeting time. You can view the meeting list in the conference list. Part 3 Are the interfaces introduction, home page, represent the chain of the meeting data and some basic information about the system. Managers, the number of the administrators of the system and the corresponding permission meetings. Role manager, what are the roles of participants and the later reservation of the conference room can be convenient for corresponding selection. Equipment upgrade, our software will be updated from time to time and remember to check and update it regularly here. Data backup. Backups of past meeting documents. Assistant authorization. And try not to move here so as not to affect the normal operation of the system. And finally, the button is the software operation guide for reference. 
all in all, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We are there all the time.